going on guys welcome rabbit here and today we're going to be talking a bit about cpu mining and why it's fargan great to be a cpu miner now why is it great to be a cpu mining well gpus they've been having some issues ever since ethereum we know this throughout the majority of this bear market they have been absolutely unprofitable and the probability is coming back we're seeing some nice crypto pumps i believe gpus on free power you know a 3070 is sitting around that 30 cent mark or something eight cent after power at my power price anyway 11 cent per kilowatt hour but one thing i never had to worry about was my cpus profitable the whole freaking time and this is a bear market the bull run is going to be absolutely insane now obviously originally i started mining on my cpus on xmr i kind of made enough xmr within one year and built my first dedicated rig it was awesome then from there i built another and another and it all was built out of crypto nothing out of my own pocket or anything so it's pretty sweet on that so as i expanded over the years raptorium exploded yes the price is down right now but i feel it's going to make a huge comeback and people are going to be amazed on the things that will happen within raptorium but right now we're talking about dero and it was running through some issues the past i guess week or so with a split chain and whole bunch of people throwing numbers around on what actually happened eventually it got fixed it is now fixed and wow the profitability is insane we'll talk about the profitability in a bit now by insane i don't mean we're not making like the 14 dollars a day like we were previously on a single 3900x but we are doing pretty good like after power it's probably two or three times more profitable than a 3070 on free power yeah that's kind of what we're talking here after power and then before power we're over a dollar a day or something so i'm going to go through the profitability on a few things like my farm consists of 3900x ryzen cpus i got a couple 3950s i got a couple 5950x's i think two up there and i got a couple more down there somewhere they're all over the place and then i also got the big bad boy consumer grade beast the 7950x which is absolutely an amazing cpu for miners but the motherboards just cost so much so i still recommend the three and five thousand series until we do see price drops across am5 hardware but in the back here that one right there in the middle in the back is still rig 5 the resident celebrity that's hidden i do have other plans to try out with him with dynex and stuff maybe try a gpu rig on dynex with that dynex has been looking pretty decent on gpus lately but again you know this is not a gpu video this is a cpu video let's go take a look at the current profitability today with dero with my cpus all right so we're going to look at a little bit of cpu mining profitability courtesy of the cpu mining calculator at my website rabidmining.com so here is a ryzen 3900x i'm just going to load up one of these and you can see the dero hash rate is at 6,000 hashes or six kilo hash now that's not the case this was originally based off the original Dero miner. It does look like Uranus is performing how it should. So we are now at about 10,400 hashes and at 11 cent per kilowatt hour, it's looking like Dero is making about a dollar eight if you had free power or 82 cents at my power cost after power. Then we got Varus coin. We can see the other coins kind of coming down on the list. But Dero is looking like the king and it has been for a you know a very long time now we're going to move on now to a 3950x which is about 13,300 hashes or whoa i put in 19,000. that's a little much here so we're going to go about 13,300 or something 13.3 kilo hash now that again is about 3.7 gigahertz on your cpu for a setting we're going to calculate that and the 3950x is actually doing about a dollar 64 on free power or a dollar 23 after power and again dero is pumping so that's really good here now i'm just going to jump straight up to the 7950x now this thing is a beast so i'm going to load that in right now now default is 9.9 .9 kilohash this is in fact about 18400 so 18.4 kilohash 11 cents it's only using like 121 watts these cpus are crazy efficient it sucks though because their motherboards are so darn expensive anyway we're going to calculate that and wow okay look at the 7950x 
we're rocking two dollars and 26 cents if you had free power and on free power you're making a profit at my power price of a dollar 94 on dero looks like haven's actually coming up here a bit on the 7950x at 48 cents after power we got panda night which is used to be bamboo that's at 45 cent profit after power virus coin 29 we're seeing decent profitability on this ryzen 7000 series so the profitability there on dero is looking pretty good not too bad but remember guys we are still in a bear market the price of dero in the last run was around 23 dollars or something i believe it peaked to around six something usd earlier today which looked pretty good but we still have a long ways to go and hopefully you know dero blows through all-time highs i'm also trying to figure out some other things with proxies and so on a potentially merge mining yes not dual mining but merge mining on cpu so full out mining two freaking algorithms like we see with litecoin and dogecoin just doubling up the profits and stuff like that so i'm working on a lot of different things with my cpus right now once i figure it out and if i can get it figured out obviously you guys are going to know and just to help you guys out with a little more profitability now crypto has been pumping but there's still one major issue on the whole gpu side other than cpus and that is the fact that there's too many damn gpus out there now there's still a lot of cpus out there there's botnets now that are actually trying to take over dero instead of xmr because they're figuring out you know dero is a fargan very profitable coin so we got to move on over there so that's starting to happen cpus are gaining more traction again it's kind of funny it's like old is new again because everything kind of transitioned from cpu mining bitcoin originally started on cpus then it moved to gpus then i believe like fpgas and then it, obviously it's where it's at now asics and pretty much the only way to mine bitcoin is on asics but now we're back to the original crypto starters the cpus and these things are in fact profitable and even with the recent crypto pumps on gpus like caspa like it's at what i believe it's a little over two cents canadian it is up a huge amount but the profitability is hardly there because there's too many damn gpus that's the bottom line there's too much hardware out there so i really looking into other ways to mine and if you're looking for other ways to mine and you are a gpu miner maybe consider building one or two cpu rigs and just trying it out playing with it it's a lot of fun we're addicted to mining mining is awesome mining will never die and this is just another way to mine crypto so this is a pretty quick video you know probably really wasn't about anything but maybe some of you guys wanted to see currently what my rigs are on or what i'm doing or just wanted a cpu mining video well here kind of one is but yeah dero is awesome check it out if you don't want to build a node or something for yourself i do have the rabid mining pool link in the description check that out come join mine with us at the rabid pool it's a lot of fun we're making a lot of money and we're totally bullish on dero thank you for watching i will see you on the next one rabbit out